posted that was all about um, the top five security companies in Qatar. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Press that notification icon below. You always be the first to know when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for the support you've given me for this all long. From the time I started this channel. My name is Max from the Max Creation TV. Thank you for coming back to my channel. In today's video, I would like to discuss about the recent video that I posted that was all about um, top five security companies in Qatar. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of comments have been coming from different groups from different individuals, but I just want to give you a clear view of my own experience and what I talk about and what I'm talking about right now is that. When I made this video of the top five security companies, it was after I made a thorough research. And that research I made is what made me to post this video or is what I based on right whatever you saw or whatever I talked about in the video. We talked about the first security, the five first top five security companies in Qatar. And uh, from my own experience, if I can give you a small bit of the background, you all know uh, the start of the journey, of the start of your journey from your country to that company that you are working for right now, which I may not know. It might be Satisim, it might be Gear 4 s it might be Group 5, it might be SS. But you know the start of the journey or you know how it started from. Normally, when we look at the companies, this is going to start from back home by the recruitment man manpower. The recruiting manpower, normally, they will advertise the availability of the jobs that are available at that time, right? So, when you are recruiting, I know most of you, or most of us oh I don't know what is happening today I think today it's a little bit a little bit clear or it's a little bit bare whereby the person interviewing will just come on ground and uh, choose out the best quality or the best candidate fit for the job I think that's right and, and in that period I think you have enough time to interact or to interact by the uh, interact with the interviewer he will ask you question but you also have you also have the right to ask him two or three questions it, it, it is not to to get the more insight of you with the, that company that you think you, f you feel you want to work for at a time and that's what normally based my knowledge or post my knowledge to, to think that I can that's where possible I'll just give you a small brief background of my situation at a given period of the time. No, we don't wake up to talk about these things. No. You say the best teacher always have the best experience in one way or the other. And we talk about these things because we know them. We've been in them. We've gone through them. And that's why we talk about them. Why we talk about them is that we want to, to let other people not fall in the same mistakes or in the fall same traps that we, we, we got in at a given period of time and it is you help others to achieve or you help others to choose widely for my own experience is at that time uh, I did not even have the time to see uh, uh, the person interviewing uh, uh, physically seeing the person interviewing me for the job for the security card but all I need <coughs> I beg your pardon all I remember is that I was going to do security and when I got the interview on Skype, a very few questions were asked me. Do you know all about security? Yes. Uh, do you know about all the fire? Yes. Um, and the last comments, uh, because this was by Skype, and the last comments I had 
that we are totally coming from the person interviewing me on Skype was like, your salary will be 1,200 for 30 days and you'll be studying or you'll be working for 12 hours. Then the next person came in. Actually, before even I had to move home, because that was around uh, maybe around 3.30, that's when I got the interview, right? The following two days, I was like, yes, by the manpower company trying to give me a call. Hello, Max. You really have the visa with you. So uh, I, was, I was so much excited at that time. And the visa came, I had to sign off the contract papers that we are being sent on email because they had to be scanned back, take back. They had to be scanned back before they back to the company. And you know, what happens with the kind of excitement at the first time is that you don't even realize that you need, you need to, to proofread what, what is in the contract. You need to understand what exactly is written in the contract, right? All I was, all I, I, I actually had to see is how much money I'm getting. And when I tried to convert back to my own current own currency, so like it was a little bit bigger. And I was like, yes, I'm going. Okay. So normally I know it's, it's, it's most of people or most of you have gone through, you've gone through the same things. And uh, by the time you get to realize you, 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 you're already this side, okay, you already started working for a company. So I think that's what is a small brief I wanted to let you know. But sometimes that uh, we like, we are so anxious that, you know, you want to go for something, you want to have something at, at a time and this is what you have to have and like, this is my time. I don't have to to, to, to to waste my opportunity and you have the opportunity. No, some people say the opportunity strikes first and you have to go for it for the first time. And I think that was very, very clear at that time. So, let's go back to the video. When I talked about the first top five security companies in Qatar, this, I did my thorough research and there's a lot of things I, I considered. There's a lot of factors I looked at. Actually, you personally you can you know your company better. Either you're living in Group 5 security company, Qatar security company, Group 4 security company, or SS security company, or um, Taisil company. You know your company better. And when I talked about those five companies, I think some of you are a little bit contented or you knew what I was talking about, the grading was right at that time. Right? What you need to know, in this situation, I do not consider, I do not so much consider the number of years the company has existed. For example, when we try to look at the analysis itself, you look at the Taisil among the companies, is, uh, its formation is 1994. That is when it was started. You look at uh, Group 5, it was started 1955. But you see the difference of, of, the, uh, the, difference of the years, 1994 and 1995. And you see that at that time in the video, Taisil was better than Group Group Five, which was at uh, which started at 19, 1955. SS started in 2015. Alfan that started in 2015, and Gear 4 s we started a little bit earlier. So, in the video, I did not only look up. I did not. I did not actually consider the number of years that the company has spent with its operation. But I was looking at a lot, of, a lot of other factors. And what other factors were we talking about? First of all, let us look at what we call the welfare. One, that is the welfare of the guards. Okay. Look at if the company is giving you food, is that the exact uh, the exact food, or is that the exact number times meals that they agreed upon? Yes. If that is it, then your company is better than another company at that time. You can try to rate it in that way. Okay. Look at look at the housing. Look at the, the accommodation uh, uh, accommodation where you stay. Is your accommodation clean? Uh, do you have pest control? Do you have regular pest control? Uh, do you have um, do you have a clean and conducive environment? 
you have booking gas with you all the time that you don't have to hustle then that means your company is better than another company and has to be rated on top of another company and that's what I was trying to look at actually and those are the few factors I was trying to look at at a given time look at a situation if you do be in a company or you be in a company that provides you accommodation and that accommodation is dirty it's not clean at all there's no pest control there's overcrowding in those what you call the dormitories or the rooms where we stay is overcrowded. So you will not compare your company with this another company that is going to provide its accommodation that are fit and clean and conducive for the guards. Even the performance of the work of the guard will be under scaled down. It's not going to be 100% performance at the same time. So those are some of the few things that you will really consider and look at if you get to differentiate or you get to rate a given company from another let us look at transport system if you if 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 in your contract agreed you're working for 12 hours and you're picked in time then your company is better than another company which in the contract they agree 12 hours of duty but you end up working 14 hours of duty and those extra hours are not paid right they're not paid so that means the company which is working with the agreed term in the contract is better than this company which will overwork you without a pay. Look at the agreement that you made in the contract itself. Look at the time. Say, I'll be working for 26 hours or for 26 days. Beg your pardon, I'll be working for 26 days. And I'll be getting four days in a month. Are you getting those days off? Oh, if you don't get those days off, are you paid? If you're not paid, then your company is not better than that company which pays up what it agrees in the contract, which pays overtime, which has good accommodation, which, uh, which, has, which, which has conducive space for the guys to live. Look at the smartness itself. What is the physical appearance of the guard? You just can't tell me exactly that a, 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 a situation one whereby a guard has to go to duty is putting on white shoe canvas down and is putting on a very dirty shirt, not even tie, torn trouser, torn t-shirt or torn shirt. So that is contrary that we are talking about that you cannot reach that company to other. And I think when I was making this video, I tried to look old into all those details. The companies where you'd find a guard is very dirty, a guard is, you know, uh, he has a torn uh, shirt, he had a dirty shirt, he has a torn trouser, and what? Yes, Kota would, 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 would put the blame on the guard itself, but also even the company, because if you can provide laundry machines for the, for the guards, they will definitely wash. Even if you say at the cost, I'll put a small token for the uh, laundry machines to pay. If when it comes to washing, they, they will do pay and wash because no one wants to look smart or no one wants to look shabby and dirty. But it depends on the organization of the company at that time with the guards and the arrangements of the guards that will give out the clear picture and the clear appearance. And your appearance will send a message to the people around you that this is how my company looks. Exactly, that's what it is like. So look at this. We look at look at another factor whereby we say is salary paid in time yes i agreed for 1200 or 1200 per month for 30 days or for 26 days does that money come in time not a situation whereby that money comes after 15 days of another month that means it's not getting me the value of that money so when i was contrary making that video i was like looking at such kind of factors that you should also know or you should also know and you actually know what i was talking about that's why you find that other companies are better than our companies because they are able to do such kind of things they are able to do such kind of things for the guards even they are able to check the guards okay if you are happy with the salary accommodation and the rest that means you'll have a happy working place and a happy working modes. Hope guys you know what I'm talking about. So that's a clear uh, uh, statement I want you to make for the video. Uh, but thank you so much for subscribing. For any comment, 
for any comment you take in the subsection below i'll always be very happy to get back to you for those that always come commented in the subsection i'm always very happy and i get for you back to myself by the way don't always forget to watch my my, my videos i always post okay and i'll always be very glad thank you for watching my channel and thank you for being to my channel this is mix from the next creation tv hope i'll see you guys again thank you so much i'll see you once again Thanks for watching. Please let me know your views. Share and comment in the subsection below. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. By the way, do not forget to watch my next videos. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. See you again.